What is up guys, my name is Silverick. Today we're going to be going over the best settings for NVIDIA Control Panel. Uh, now these are the settings that I use, it'll get you the lowest latency and uh, the best performance possible. So yeah guys, first off, you want to right click, go to show more options, click on NVIDIA Control Panel. If you're on Windows 10, all you'll have to do is right click and then click on NVIDIA Control Panel. First off, you're going to want to start, start it at just image settings with preview. Uh, now when you click on this, you'll see a screen that looks just like this. It may be on uh, advanced 3D image settings, which will most likely have it on quality. But what you want to do is click on use my preference emphasizing. Click on that and slide the slider to performance. You really won't notice a difference in games. Uh, you'll get, you know, more frames per second. Uh, and, and it's really not going to sacrifice any, any visual quality for the most part. Now let's go down to manage 3D settings. This is going to be pretty important. So definitely make sure that you follow along. For me, I have image scaling set to off. If you have an older GPU, you can use image scaling to uh, downscale the the resolution of games and get higher FPS. I personally don't use it. Go down to ambient uh, occlusion. I just have this set to off. Most of these you want to set to off. You can set them to application controlled, uh, but in certain scenarios, you it, it can affect FPS uh, depending on what game you use. That's why I just have it set to off. So anti-aliasing off. Uh, anti-aliasing gamma correction on, anti-aliasing mode off, background application max frame rate. I have that set to off just because I, I really haven't noticed any significant difference between having it on or off. Now, CUDA GPUs, I have this set to NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3090. If you have a laptop, make sure that you have your graphics card selected instead of the, um, if you have like an Intel uh, iGPU or whatever, make sure that that's not selected. That could be a reason why you're getting low frame rates. All right, and, and then low latency mode, make sure that you have that set set to ultra that'll make sure that if you're you know if you're playing like a competitive shooter or something like that uh you will get the the lowest possible latency now down to max frame rate have that set to off now, on certain games like i guess uh back when like i think amazon came out with a game the 3090s were blowing up and people were recommending you use this but i, I i've never had any problems monitor technology uh, i have this set to fix refresh i don't use g-sync i don't like g-sync i feel like it increases latency uh, I'm actually sure that it does increase latency. Uh, it's good for some games. It helps with smoothness, but I prefer it off. Multi-frame sampling, MFAA, keep that off. Of course, have your OpenGL re uh, rendering uh, GPU set to whatever GPU you have. And then power manage uh, management mode. Make sure that you have this set to prefer maximum performance. This will allow your GPU to pull more power when it needs it in certain game titles, which can, get, can definitely help frames. And then preferred refresh rate. Make sure that this is set to highest available. If not, then potentially your monitor could drop frame rates based on what game you're playing. Shader cache size. I have this set to unlimited because I've never had any problems with having it set to unlimited. It hasn't like taken up all my disk space or anything like that. You can leave this on driver default. I really didn't notice a, that significant of a difference with this setting. Now let's go down to texture filtering negative LOD bias. Make sure that this is set to allow and not clamp. Texture filtering quality. Make sure that you have this set to high performance uh, because you will not notice a difference in graphical quality or anything like that at all. So texture filtering, trilinear op optimization. Make sure that you have that set to on. Threaded optimization on. Uh, triple buffering off. Vertical sync off. Vir virtual reality pre-rendered frames one. Virtual reality variable rate super sampling off. I accidentally one time set this to two and I was wondering why my GPU wasn't it was not performing well at all this is back when I had a 1080 Ti so make sure that your virtual reality pre-render frames is set to one or else you may experience bad bad GPU performance when you're in change resolution um, I have this set to 2560 by 1440 even though I have an ultra wide just for the purpose of making this video and when I do YouTube videos, I usually do them in, in a normal resolution and make sure that your max refresh rate is, is, is selected. There's a lot of people that have a 144 Hertz monitors that keep their monitors on 60 Hertz and they, they don't even know. Make sure that your refresh rate is set to the highest possible refresh rate. Uh, and then once that is done, make sure you click on apply. And then right down here where it says apply the following settings, use default color settings will be selected. Make sure that you select use NVIDIA color settings. Make sure that your desktop color depth is set to the highest uh, output color format. Keep that at RGB. Uh, sometimes you'll get other selections like YGB or something. Uh, output dynamic range. Make sure that this is set to full. Uh, that will just allow your monitor to output more colors than if it were to be set to limited. Uh, make sure that you click on apply after selecting all of that. Adjust desktop color settings. I 
like to have a little bit of extra di digital vibrance. Um, of course, if you set it all the way up to 100, it's going to be way too much. It's going to absolutely blast colors out of proportion. It's going to look horrible. And I keep brightness and contrast uh, at 50%. I don't, I don't really mess with brightness or contrast just because, you know, I think that the normal normal looks pretty good. So right over here, if you want to use G-Sync, you can. If you want to use G-Sync, you can click on enable G-Sync if you have a G-Sync capable uh, display. I keep that off like I, like I previously said, just because I don't I don't really like G-Sync. I feel like it in increases latency, definitely. And then right here, this is actually very important if you're into competitive shooters or competitive games, um, things that require low latency. Go to adjust desktop size and position on um, right here where it says scaling. I would recommend setting this to no scaling because if you have this set to scaling, uh, integer scaling, full screen, aspect ratio, anything like that, it's gonna add latency, which a lot of people don't actually don't, don't mention, but in my personal experience, I can feel more latency when using aspect ratio, full screen, integer scaling. So just make sure that this is set to no scaling. Click on apply and then and then you'll most likely notice a difference in your latency. Now go down to adjust video color settings. Click on with NVIDIA, with the NVIDIA settings. Click on advanced and make sure that your dynamic range is set to full. This once again will just allow your monitor to output more colors and if it were set to limited, it's really as simple as that. Click on apply. And then yeah guys, that pretty much concludes my recommended settings for NVIDIA control panel. This is what I use for all of my games. This is uh, how I've always used it. I've never had any problems. I get great frames, uh, FPS. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you did enjoy. I hope that this did give you some useful information so you can get higher frames, l uh, lower latency. For me, I know that it, it's helped me quite a bit, especially at the end that the, um, the setting it to no scaling decreases latency significantly. Uh, so yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure you like, subscribe, and turn on bell notifications to make sure that you are notified every time that I upload a new video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.